What's the the general thrust of your activism over the last 50, 55 years? It's been many things because I'm, I call myself a revolutionary, a mm -hmm. nonviolent revolutionary. And it can't just be foreign policy. Mm -hmm. It has to be the environment. It has to be relating to working people, to black stand-ins, to Chicanos, to women's struggles, to gay, lesbian uh, struggles. Um, and so wherever there's a decent struggle, mm. I show up as a troop, mm. not to lead everything. I couldn't possibly mm. lead. Nonviolence is revolutionary or it's irrelevant. Hmm. I believe that. Third world people, after getting raped and tortured and murdered and slaughtered and so on, given what human history is, if they can, are going to pick up a gun. They'll organize. What would your advice be to some to someone um, protesting, say, at the RNC, on how to be effective? Well, I think by and large, uh, many of the people, young, older, who are doing it, are thinking along these lines. Think it through. Strategize. Build serious coalitions which people are doing nationally and locally for that big uh, March Monday. Uh, do it with nonviolence. Be disciplined. Be disciplined. You want to be disruptive? Go ahead and be disruptive. But be disciplined and be nonviolent because you increase the chances of your effort being effective. Do you think it's a, if you ever thought of maybe putting the actual on foot protesting aside and entering politics like formally, you know, sort of change from within? Well, I thought of, of <laughs> doing that uh, for about six months. <laughs> then I saw what the hell am I doing here? I'm not a Democrat. What are both parties and their leadership agree to? Capitalism. That's the nature of the, that's where the problem comes from. You know, there are, cert, there are certain differences, uh, and I hope Obama wins although I may vote for Cynthia McKinney or Nader here, I think Obama will win big in Minnesota. So you don't have to think too hard. I went to hear Obama with my friend Bob. Obama comes in finally, and Obama says to 20,000 people, we'll end the war. And everybody's cheering. That's the main issue. They're pu putting a trillion people, tri a, a trillion dollars, rather, in, into that instead of filling people's teeth, giving them health care, nutrition, decent housing, jobs that are meaningful for oil and basins. And warning the world, if you, any of you stand in our way, we'll kill you.